Hello beauties, welcome back to Echo Beauty. Why other people's eye makeup is natural, clean, deep and divine, but my eye makeup looks weird. This video is about common misconceptions about eye makeup and how to fix them. If you find it helpful, please remember to give a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Why does other people's eye makeup look clean, but my eye makeup is dirty no matter how I draw it? There are 7 common causes and corresponding solutions. 1. Use a foundation or concealer with high concealer. To cover and brighten the eye area, most people have pigmented dullness and dark circles in their eyes. Choose products with high coverage, because it is easy to get powder around our eyes, so use it in small amount. Choose a natural colored concealer according to your skin tone. Don't choose a color that is too much whiter than your face. Do not cover the dark circles with the silkworm. The range of blend is in this place. Then use the remaining powder to cover the dullness of the outer corner of the eye. Finish with loose powder. Eye primer is done. This step should be done in your base makeup. Applying eyeshadow here will restore the color of the eyeshadow itself more. And it will be more clearly contrasted with the skin. 2. Choose a color that you can control better, such as red bean paste color, low color saturation, or warm earth tones and fine shimmers with clearer particles to paint eye makeup. I think novice friends will have no problem starting from this insurance color. Green no matter what color you apply must be from the inside out to color. That is to say, the first time the brush touches the eyelid is usually the heaviest color. A clean eye makeup is must from dark to light, from the inside to outside. Each color should start from the root of the eyelashes, layer by layer blend up. This is also the case when the eyeshadow is superimposed. Blend as far as you think. Change to a clean large brush and sweep back and forth along the edge a few times. There is a little trick. Use a clean finger to rub the edge of the eyeshadow a few times. It can also have a shapeless effect. Look at the other side. If you're out of order, when you apply, the color it comes out is always uneven. The fourth point is that the brush should take the powder evenly. Be sure to apply eyeshadow powder evenly. Use it in small amount with many times. So be sure to shake off the excess powder. It is better to stack several times to achieve a desired color. Don't try to get it right at once. Apply eyeshadow in small amount. You can stop when you reach the level of intensity you like. The fifth point is to control the range of each colors. If you want a color to end up in this range, the range of coloring should be at one half or within one half of it because you want to leave enough blending area for it. Let's look at the opposite example. The sixth point is to pay attention to the lower eye applying. Sometimes eye makeup doesn't look clean enough. It's because of our problem with eyeshadows and silkworms. Whether the lower eyeshadow is to deepen the second half, the last one third or the whole section, basically follow a principle of narrow front and wide back. Choose this more natural and delicate pearlescent color to brighten the silkworm. The brightest spot is in the middle of the lying silkworm and a little forward. Then transition slightly to the sides, pearlescent color not too far behind. The silkworm drawn in this way is full, natural and clean. It doesn't look too exaggerated in real life. The seventh point is that the eyelashes should be neat and clean. Because a complete eye makeup we have to consider not only the eyeshadow, but also the eyelashes. There is no need to pursue a very curled eyelash curler, because some eyelashes are not easy to curl. But please don't make a pile of it when you brush. After brushing, you can use a comb like this to tidy up your brows. Take advantage of this gadget. If the eyelashes are dirty, it is better not to brush them. Therefore, I recommend that those beauties who do not know how to use mascara directly choose this eyelash primer or this comb like mascara brush head. The second big problem is that I am serious about my eye makeup. But why does it not look natural enough? And does not play a role in refining the shape of my eyes. One is that the transition between colors is too stiff and there is no sense of hierarchy. In fact, there is no other way to deal with this except for more blend. Look at these two eyes. There are a few matte shades on this eye, but the connection is more natural. There is no obvious accumulation of color blocks when I open my eyes. But look at this eye. The second point is that the matte color and pearlescent color is not very good articulation. In fact, all the brightening colors on our eyelids need to be transitioned. After you select the location of the pearl color, need to transition to the left and right. In this way, its connection will be very natural. 
Third, don't ignore the outer corners of your eyes. You can do the last step after applying the eyeshadow. Use a small brush to apply a little natural color concealer. Eyes looking straight ahead. Cover up the darkness in the outer corners of the eyes. Trace the shape of it along with it. Set the makeup with loose powder. But be careful. Try not to let the concealer rub off on the lashes at the outer corners of your eyes. The third big problem is about applying eyeliner. There are many beauties who apply eyeliner like this. The biggest problem is that your eyeliner is not connected to the outer corner of the eye. Eyeliner is an aid to eye shape, so it must fall at the base of the eyelashes to look good. Hold one hand here to spread the skin. The tip of the pen is pulled out from the outer corner of your eye at this point. Eyes looking down, fill in the above piece. Finally, look squarely in the mirror. Use snail caps or cotton swabs to trim the shape. Good looking eyeliner is like a small triangle in the outer corner of the eye. You can see the comparison. The difference between the eyeliner connect back and not back is still very obvious. I hope this video can really help you. Finally, don't forget to give a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.